Hey everybody, uh, tonight we're going to talk about all the different types of straps that you may come in contact with when running conduit um, and even other types of cable. Uh, we've got several varieties to choose from here in the shop tonight and I've chosen what I've got available. You'll see we got uh, BX or MC strap. It'll just go right around it. Pretty simple right through the hole. You've got an SE cable, like a service entrance style cable. You see it's a little bit flatter, just like, just like the service entrance cable that we have. It's kind of flat. And then you have little tiny straps for your ground wire. We use it for the number four. The problem that we come in uh, contact with is the hole. The hole here is smaller than most normal screws. See how it overlaps just a little bit? And what ends up happening, especially if you're using tap cons, is it'll run up the screw and twist and it's hard to hold. So sometimes we will just drill them out holding channel locks. But that goes that goes around the ground wire. Like so. And then we have what I call a mineral like strap. You would take it and screw it. Sometimes, most of the time, you got to take this bolt out and either drill your hole for concrete or just go ahead and put the screw right through the back and it mounts right to the side. If you're doing conduit bends you need to account for this little offset because your conduit will only come to about where my finger is if you think about that and then you just lay your conduit in it and squeeze it around run the bolt through sometimes you have to use a channel lock if, uh, to, to get it to pull around um, if you're going over maybe an uneven surface or something like that and then we have different types of unistrut straps. I'm sure most of you know what unistrut is. I've got a piece right here that we can look at these with. We call this a Cobra strap because that's the brand. See the Cobra? I like these because they'll fit right in side to side and you don't have to worry about the screws button each other. You just put the conduit in up your it's hard to do with one hand and then you just tighten it down whereas with these they have several pieces and you put them you twist it in one on each side and then again, sometimes you have to use uh, channel locks to get these to meet up. And then you just put the bolt through and tighten it down. Now, you have to be careful choosing your straps. That's standard, which is normally what they give us for rigid, standard. And then you have TW, which is thin wall, which is what EMT is. Uh, rigid is going to be a little bit bigger, thin wall, it's not going to be so much diameter. Typically, the Cobra straps typically are more than, uh, more expensive than these traditional Unistrut straps. Okay. Next we have one hole straps. These are pretty self-explanatory. This one is your heavy wall. You new guys, pay attention. If the boss says, hey, go get some heavy wall straps, make sure what you get has the H. You can actually see there's even a difference in the thickness of metal. This is a T, Viking-T. That's thin wall. 
for inch and a half conduit. So thin wall again is your EMT. Um, I think the flex um, or green field as some people call it. But PVC and rigid pipe is what's going to be the heavy wall. The thin wall won't fit it. Okay. Now, if you run across the occasion that you have to use a thin wall, you can just take uh, you can just take it and, and widen it out a little bit, and it'll go it'll go over it and work. Uh, it'll go over it and work for what you're trying to do. Um, but if you have it available, you can just use the thin wall, the, the heavy wall. Excuse me. Okay. The heavy wall. <laughs> the heavy wall will also be good for uh, your liquid tight, non metallic, car flex, and also your seal tight or metallic. Now, we have these. This one, I'm calling a vertical bead-on caddy. Uh, caddy is just the manufacturer, and that's who, we, that's who we use around here. And this will go into bar joists, like up in a, this is not bar joists, but up in a metal building. And you just take your clines, and this, this end turns. See, it pivots. I can't do it with one hand, but you can pivot it. Put it how you want and then turn it back if you have to and then we have the sideways caddy again same thing you beat it on with your clines or a hammer um, and it has to be the right thickness you can't take this and, and go to a vertical i-beam and do it um, these have been known to break and and just cascade across the shop that you're working in but the same deal on the side of the, the bar joist or the top or however you can get it to attach. And this one is the is for the ceiling grid wire. Um, you're not supposed to attach it to one that's actually holding the ceiling grid. You take the ceiling grid wire, attach it to the floor of the ceiling, and then you can use this to run conduit across the ceiling wire. It can come in handy sometimes in a pinch. But that's a quick look at the different types of straps you can use for conduit and SE cable or BX cable. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.